the gentle respect and primacy of a deep listening process makes focusing compatible with efforts to humanize society because as a practice, focusing already is that kind of care for humanity. The consensus that we find through focusing, it's not a kind of grinding down of difference into a, a negotiated sameness, but rather it's a celebration of actual difference. I'm proposing a continuity from the radical acceptance of the focusing process all the way out to community interaction. In our current societies, the citizen is often treated as a baby with transference reactions to the powerful authorities of society. But maybe we could flip this so that the citizen is seen as a kind of generative source, a figure of wisdom for the society, the body process that the system needs in order to progress creatively. A better world begins within. And this is the beginning of a kind of inner democracy. This is the beginning of being a diverse community rather than a point of view. When we pause, we find the humility to acknowledge that we don't know all the answers. Pausing also allows the most fundamental act of democracy, listening. For some reason, awareness plus experience equals feelings coming alive. You could say units begin to return to process. The focusing attitude helps us to trust this experiencing process, even though it's based upon unknowing and uncertainty. Process does not mean instability. Being listened to facilitates new thinking. Rigidly held ideas could be seen as the preface to a story that's yet to be told. The felt meaning underneath our thinking is not just personal. It is a personal opening to the whole situation. And so it has information for all of us. What would happen if we replaced any fixed ideology with process? Process that can never be fully pinned down. I'm suggesting a democracy should be alive like a person is. But we need a process that already has the values of the world we want.